Hi everyone, and congratulations from Dr. Schroll. I'm here to talk to you about our pinning ceremony and why we do it in nursing programs. The pinning ceremony has been a tradition in nursing programs for many, many years. It goes back to the days of Florence Nightingale. She was part of the Crimean War and she was knighted back in those days. She was given a badge and then she started her own nursing school back in England in the 1850s. She gave each of her students a badge or a pin and that was for their excellence. And so that tradition has been carried on from those days to now. We have a pinning ceremony to congratulate each and every one of you on becoming a nurse and to welcome you to the profession of nursing. I mentioned the pin. Each of you will be getting a pin. The pin is a symbol of your excellence. Wear that pin proudly. During our pinning ceremony, we also have candles. Candles came from Florence Nightingale. She was called the Lady of the Lamp. She would go through the wars, wards during the Crimean War and check on her patients during the night, carrying a little lamp. That's how she got her name, the Lady of the Lamp, and that's why we carry candles with us during our ceremony. The other thing we have is blessing of the hands. We bless each person's hands, and hopefully someday you'll have your hands blessed in person. A uh, blessing of the hands is we want you to recognize that your hands are an important part of the nursing profession. You will be taking care of patients each and every day and these hands, we want them to be blessed so that you will give the very best care to your patients. That's just a little uh, recap of what the nursing ceremony is. Um, I know it was virtual, it was a little disappointment, but the important thing is you're, you're through the nursing program, you're going to become registered nurses, and we congratulate each and every one of you. Greetings, class of 2020. It is an honor to be your Dean of Health and Wellness Sciences. You have accepted the charge and you have been relentless to get to this journey. I am so very proud of you. And in the words of Dr. Maya Angelou, People won't remember what you do, people won't remember what you say, but they will always remember how you make them feel. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish we could be doing this in person. Unfortunately, with everything going on, we can't. But I, I wanna say how happy I am for each and every one of you. You should be very, very proud of all that you've done, especially these last few months. Um, you're, we are part of history. You will always remember your pinning ceremony or lack of pinning ceremony because of the COVID-19 virus. But I wish each and every one of you a very successful career in nursing. Remember all the things that you learned through our program. Make us proud. You are representing Lorain County Community College each and every day. Thank you so much. God bless you and good luck. Good evening to our nursing graduates, your families and friends, and our Lorraine County Community College nursing faculty. I'm Marcia Ballinger, president of Lorraine County Community College. What an honor it is for me to be speaking to you this evening, our nursing class of 2020. While this certainly isn't the pinning ceremony we had hoped for, it's the first time, in fact, in our history where we are doing a virtual nursing pinning ceremony. I'm very thankful for our nursing faculty for putting together tonight's program to celebrate 91 students who are completing the associate degree nursing program. Nursing is among the most noble professions in any circumstance. And it truly takes a hero to step forward to help others during this global pandemic health crisis. I speak for our entire community as I extend to you my sincerest thanks and appreciation for your service to go above all. 
When you're out in this world as a registered nurse, you're going to be going into a new territory. There's no time in recent history that compares to what healthcare professionals are dealing with right now. The stakes have never been higher, and I know that each of you are so well prepared for what lies ahead. AJ Gray, who teaches in our paramedic program and is also an RN, completed her associate's degree in nursing just five years ago from Lorain County Community College. While she was in New York, AJ worked the front lines for 12 or more hours per day, seven days a week, treating patients who were some of the hardest hit by COVID-19. She has shared that it was a trying, emotional, and draining time. As she cared for patients who may never have seen their families again, AJ was able to share with them her nursing expertise, and equally important, she shared with them her heart, her compassion, and her understanding. As each of you begin your careers as RNs, I know you will extend to your patients that same level of service and care and compassion that AJ exemplified in New York. At Lorain County Community College, we're all in this together. After all, community is our middle name. To reach your graduation, it took a tremendous support system of people around you. For AJ, it was professors like Mary Grady and Don Scro who helped her succeed. Your friends, families, and professors have helped you reach today's milestone. At the conclusion of this video, I invite you to take a few minutes to reach out to your family, to your friends, to your supporters, and let them know how much they have meant to you. Graduates, I congratulate each of you on completing the associate degree in nursing program. And as you go out into this healthcare world, I wish you health, safety, and joy in the career that you have chosen. Congratulations to you. We are grateful for your commitment to our community. Congratulations. Greetings class of 2020 Lorain County Community College Nursing Program graduates. I'd like to take just a few moments to congratulate you on what is truly a remarkable achievement. Now successfully completing our nursing program is a huge accomplishment in normal circumstances, but we are living in extraordinary times. The significant sacrifices you have made in your lives and the adjustments you have made in your studies to complete this program have made your success an unprecedented event. No other nursing class in our lifetime has had to overcome the kinds of challenges created by the COVID-19 pandemic. Your success is a tribute to your commitment, to your work ethic, and to your passion to make a difference. Our community needs you more than ever, and your opportunity to make a difference may never be greater than it is right now. And I know you're ready for the challenge. So my congratulations and best wishes to all of you. I know through your compassion and your considerable skills, you will all make a huge difference in the world. Thank you. Hi, this is Dr. Grady here, and I'm here to say congratulations to all of you that are going to be graduating and going out into the nursing workforce. Um, I just want to give you um, a little story here. There was This was a true story that I heard on a podcast. There was once a girl, and she was going to be starting college, and she was really nervous, and she was about to leave. She thought, I don't even want to do this. And some guy walked up to her who was selling lollipops for some organization and said, hey, you're going to make it here. You're going to, and said these great words of encouragement. She didn't even know him, and he disappeared. So she finishes her degree and she looks the guy up and she goes up to him and says, you don't know me, but thanks to like your words of encouragement that you gave me all those years ago, I stayed and I am now doing what I want to and I've got my degree. And it was all because of the kind words you gave me and the sucker 
So what I'm telling you guys is, I want you to go out there and be the people that hands out the suckers. I want you to tell people and be words of encouragement and make people feel good. Because sometimes it's the people we don't even know their name that's made a difference. Always remember what Maya Angelou said, people will forget what you do and people will forget what you say, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So go out there and be the person handing out the suckers and making the world feel a little better. We need those people. Congratulations. Bye. It is tradition in the pinning ceremony for all of us to recite the Nightingale Pledge together. So anyone that has already graduated and is already a nurse, and then all of the graduating nurses, you may also recite this with us. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Florence Nightingale was a person well ahead of her time. She believed in advocating for the sick, poor, and wounded. She focused her efforts in these populations by providing excellent care and developing professional training standards to improve patients' outcomes and healthcare experience. Florence fundamentally changed the role of nursing in hospitals and was a key figure in giving nursing a highly favorable reputation. This award is voted on by the faculty in the nursing program at Lorain County Community College. The student earning this award exemplifies the work of Florence Nightingale. This student has demonstrated excellence in the clinical area, caring for patients, and as an emerging professional who we all welcome as a future leader in nursing. The winner of this award was nominated for not only being dedicated to doing a great job with her coursework, but she takes what she has learned in the lecture section and applies it to her care of patients in the clinical setting. In the clinical setting, I was able to firsthand watch as she cared for others with skill and compassion. The winner is a person who was respectful and professional in her interactions with others. She understands and demonstrates that it is not about the me, but about others and their feelings. The winner will be a nurse that will be a blessing to those that she cares for and works with. She will be someone that truly does make us all LCC proud. We would like to announce that the winner of the Florence Nightingale Student Nurse Award for Nursing Excellence May 2020 is Kamini Parikh. Congratulations. May these hands provide the best care possible to your patients and the community.